The Giants haven't won a football game in 63 days. Could a matchup with the Titans be exactly what the doctor ordered? And which players should the team target in the 2015 NFL Draft? All this and more on this I Bleed Blue Giants report. Hello and welcome to this I Bleed Blue Giants update. I'm Mike Lucas. In terms of the playoff picture, this Giants-Titans game meant nothing. But in terms of the draft order, this meant everything. Could the G-Men establish themselves as the best bad team in the league? Or would that title belong to Tennessee? Odell Beckham Jr. getting ready before the game, showing off his impressive hands, and we would see that early and often. First quarter here, Eli Manning drops back and heaves it downfield to who else but Beckham, who hauls in the 60-yard grab. Take a look at it again. Beckham, full extension behind the defense. And after a play like that, he deserves to dance. Later on that same drive, Manning looking left to his best friend, Odell Beckham Jr. He had nine touches, 100 yards, and a touchdown in the first half. The Giants' defense just as effective in this game. Devin Kennard forcing the fumble. Marcus Kuhn scooping it up and taking it all the way to the house. Who doesn't love a good big man touchdown? His teammates certainly do. This was an all Giants game in the second half. Andre Williams bobbles the handoff but turns on the afterburners and goes 50 yards down the sideline for the score. That would give the Giants a 30-0 lead. They'd win the game 36-7. Odo Beckham Jr. celebrates by jumping over his teammates. I was actually very proud of the way the guys have gone through this stretch of time and I congratulated them not only on winning obviously but you know on coming to work and on applying themselves and preparing and then being frustrated and coming back in and doing the exact same thing and making an outstanding effort. The season started with high expectations for the Giants. A new offensive coordinator, 19 offseason acquisitions, and a revamped defense. But all that hype was just noise, and the Giants seemingly found a new way to lose every week over a two-month stand. As it stands today, the Giants at 4-9 and nine are eliminated from playoff contention. Head coach Tom Coughlin's future with the team is up in the air, the two-time Super Bowl winning coach is a future Hall of Famer, but he hasn't led Big Blue to the playoffs since winning it all in 2011. One of the few bright spots on this team has been rookie Odell Beckham Jr. The wide receiver wasted little time establishing himself as one of the most dynamic playmakers in football. Despite dealing with injuries in the early portion of the season, Beckham Jr. has been the team's best player. Here's Coughlin on his rookie's performance. Well, he's definitely he's, he's grown, he's improved, he's, he understands more. But again, I'll refer back to that. Without even without much practice, he, he was ready to go. He was mentally ready to go. He knew his assignments. And as you know, we move him all over the place, and he's done well with that. Giants have one thing to look forward to, and that's the upcoming NFL Draft. Joining us now is Standing O Sports Draft expert Jack Andrade. Jack, if the Giants end up with a top 10 pick, who should be on their radar? I think the Giants should look to address the offensive line first and foremost. If they go in that direction, I think Lyle Collins from LSU makes a lot of sense. He's an absolute mauler in the run game, and he's really improved his pass blocking this season. I'd plug him right in at offensive tackle and move Justin Pugh inside the guard. If the G-Men go defense, much would depend on what scheme they run in 2015, but there's a lot of good options. A ball-hawking linebacker like Shaq Thompson of Washington, or a pass rusher like Clemson's Vic Beasley would be a great start. He certainly would look good in blue. If the Giants have the opportunity to draft Marcus Mariota or Jameis Winston, should they pull the trigger on Eli's replacement? No. Everyone just needs to calm down about it. Eli is not the issue with the Giants this season. I don't think they need to hit the reset button at all and, you know, start from scratch and move on from Manning. We've seen his brother Peyton and Tom Brady show that smart pocket passers like Eli can play at a high level into their late 30s. And Eli's play this year shows he's still got plenty left in the tank. Oregon's Marcus Mariota will be gone long before the Giants are on the clock. And I'm not going to place my franchise in the hands of Jameis Winston. Not that high, not with a top 10 pick. In a major media city like New York City, uh, I, I don't get good vibes about that. While both of those college signal callers have bright futures, the Giants should worry about fixing their offensive and defensive lines before they look for a new QB. As always, great insight from Jack Andre. Thanks, Jack. Anytime, Mike. While the season may have been a disappointment, there was no shortage of amazing plays. To end our final I Bleed Blue report of the season, we're going to look at the five best. We start off here, Andre Williams, truck-sticking Malcolm Jenkins of the Eagles. Malcolm Jenkins signed a big contract. 
He got a big concussion on this play. Andre Williams, what a beast. Number four here, we're going to stay with the same player, Andre Williams. The only thing better than truck sticking a guy, scoring a touchdown when you break three tackles. Against the Seahawks, one of the best defenses in the league, Andre Williams. Great rookie season for the Giants. Number three here, we saw this play earlier today, Eli Manning to Odell Beckham Jr. against the Titans. Does it really count? And it does when you make a catch like this. 60 yards, diving catch, full extension. You do your dance, Odell. Week three here, the Giants' first one of the season, and Larry Donnell didn't start himself in fantasy that week, lost, and he scored three touchdowns. Donnell with the diving catch on the fade route. Here we got another angle. If it didn't look good enough there, everything looks better in slow motion and a close-up. Donnell, what a beauty. But the best play of the year for the Giants, probably the NFL, is Odell Beckham Jr. with this ridiculous three-finger touchdown catch while being interfered with. Al Michaels called it the catch of the decade. I say it's the catch in league history. The best, Odell Beckham Jr. The future is bright for this young star. That's all the time we have on this I Believe Blue Giants report. I'm Mike Lucas. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, go Giants.